artistic director of Open Dance Project, Annie Arnold. And we also have education manager for Houston Volcanic Garden, Aaron Mills with me. So good morning to you both, first good of all. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for joining us. So I hear there is a wonderful performance, but before we get on the event, let's talk about why we are doing this Monarch Butterfly Migration season. Yeah, well, um, the fall, uh, particularly the beginning of October, is the time where we will see a lot of monarchs moving through Texas. And so this is really kind of like a good introduction to sort of the migration season for the monarchs as they make their way to Mexico. They come right through our backyards. Um, we'll see lots and lots of monarchs. and. It's, it's a really great way to sort of just kind of bring people's attention to that and so kind of get the conversation started and shine some light on it. And this is a beautiful performance that um, really kind of mimics the movement and everything of the monarch. So um, also we have some really great butterfly sculptures that have just been introduced to the garden. Um, the garden's really like a haven for butterflies. We've got a lot of activity there. It's a wonderful place to come, so. And for someone who has never heard of, you know, this big event, tell us what's happening and what people will see if they go to the performance. So Flutter, the Monarch Butterfly Project, is a, a dance performance that is going to happen throughout the Susan Garver family garden. Um, so we have these beautiful sculptures by Meredith Tucker. We have some really wonderful painted costumes by artist Natasha Bowden. And we are moving throughout the entire garden in dance. So we are bringing to life the migration of the monarchs, which is thousands and thousands of miles from Canada through Texas all the way down to central Mexico wow. and these monarchs literally give their lives to this migration process and so we are really focusing on the magic of the journey mm -hmm. of that curious sense of following seasons and catching air streams so there's floating there's flying of partners <laughs> happening so really some some beautiful beautiful work happening with the dancers and each other and then lots of engagement of the audience members of all ages so the audience ideally actually follows the dancers on this journey and can interact with them and engage with them in a really sense of a very playful sense of creative wonder. And that sounds very interactive. So if, is this an event for just adults or can kids come too? It is absolutely for everyone. We, all of our work is really made for people of all ages. So the very youngest audience members will find something even tactile. We have crafts and other ways that they can touch the props and the costumes, um, as well as run and play throughout the actual dance itself. Mm -hmm. And then it is absolutely for nature lovers you know all the way you can be 99 years old and enjoy mm -hmm. this experience and how do you prepare for a performance like this we are out at the garden many, many hours. We're gonna go out there today and be out there again. We've been out there a few weeks. So we are playing with the plants. We are engaging with the um, the pollinator plants that the, the butterflies actually come to and engage with. Um, and, and it's a lot of collaborative building. So the dancers participate. I give them some movement phrases and the dancers actually develop it together. Um, and we suit it to the landscape itself. So what is happening here will be very different than what Flutter might look like at another garden or park. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So after this quick break, we are going to check, a, check out a sneak peek of the performance. So you guys definitely don't wanna miss it. Stay tuned.